MMA fighting here with Macy Barber here on the, the red carpet, we'll call it, for the UFC Hall of Fame. You're only 2-0 in the UFC, but you are walking. In, before the Hall of Fame, uh, you're around these ledges. Michael Bisman's right next to you. He's getting inducted. Rashad Evans was a few feet away. As someone who's still so young in their career, what's it like to be around all of these former champions and legends? Um, well, it's incredible. It's super inspiring, and uh, it's it's something that I look up to. You know, all these fighters and these people as you know people that I can strive to be more like. What do you make? What do you make of the UFC actually asking you to come partake in this when you are so young? And see, you're only two fights in. You're already here. Yeah, it's a huge honor, and uh, I'm just blessed to be here, and I'm trying to take it all in. Have you got a tour of the new UFC Apex yet? No, I want to. I have to. I'm looking forward to that. Does, is there any part of you that's like, well, I wish I could have had my contender fight there? You know, I'm going to be honest, absolutely not. I mean, as amazing as that facility is, I really like the old school, and I really feel happy that I got to be, you know, one of the originals um, in the original building. So I'm glad I got to do it before... No one ever got to do it anymore. And as a contender alum, what did you make of that whole controversy in the first week where Brandon Lochnane went for a takedown and Dana White said, well, that you didn't get the contract because you went for a takedown with 10 seconds left. As someone who's gone through that, what maybe I got the contract, maybe I didn't, what did you make of that when you heard that? You know, when I thought about it, it makes complete sense. You know, every fight, um, especially going on the Contender Series, you want to go after and show that you, you know, you have everything that it takes to get into the UFC. And it's almost like you shouldn't fight your own style. It's, it's just show that you have the heart and, and the courage and the determination to go out there and try to finish someone. You have to show that brawler um, inside of you. And, uh, yeah, that's like your opportunity to show that part, you know, because not everybody shows that part. And in terms of your own career, when are you looking to get back in there? Do you have any dates? Do you have any? I know you're a person that wants to fight on these big cards. You told us that in Denver. Do you have any cards in mind? Um, I'm hoping for October. You know, the Joanna and Michelle card that just got announced for uh, October 12th, I believe, in San Francisco. Um, I would like to be on, you know, that card or the next one, I believe. I don't know what the date or the location is yet, but one any, of those two. Any names? Because you've called out Paige in the past. You've called out uh, uh, McKenna. Kenzie Dern in the past, are there any names that you're looking at or you just want to fight? You know, when I call out names, I, I, I'm just trying to make, you know, a big fight and, and try to get the most amount, you know, for the fans. Um, more than wanting the page fight, I really hope that she gets better. Um, but yeah, I don't have any specific in, in, in mind yet, but we'll see. We're, we're still taking a look at several of the people. Well, thank you and uh, have fun on the red carpet.